hi guys welcome back to my channel we'll be learning how to cut this beautiful queen and neckline so we're moving to the cutting table you should know how to cut your basic bodice block for you to get this queen and neckline please pay attention while i draft it it's very easy to get it's actually very easy but like i said you need your basic block first to do that so this is my basic block this is my front pattern and then this is my back pattern. I'll just go ahead to label it for the sake of those that um, are not too familiar with um, basic bodies pattern like that. And I'll be drafting a princess that bust here for it. I have a detailed tutorial on how to make a perfect princess that bust here without gapings on my video. You can do well to click on the video when you are done here. So... I've gotten my neckline, the points for the neckline. I've not gotten the neck yet, but I've given the points three by three. And I've gotten the back as well. Then I've gone ahead to label it according to the client's measurements, my up bust, my under bust, my bust point. So I'm first taking two inches out from the one part and then half an inch for the other side, as you can see. Then... I'm going to go ahead to connect it to the post point and connect it to my shoulder, to my armhole rather. That's what I'm doing here, taking it to my armhole. And remember, well, if you're familiar with how to cut princess that post tears, it's always nice to, to do that's manipulation for both your upper part of your bust that is the armhole region and then the under bust part so it is that that manipulation that i did for my armhole that is taking the darts out for my armhole too so the, the cloth can relax and then the next thing is to blend which i did that little thing there is called blending so you to hype and you avoid gaping or you avoid folds rather after making the dress and then the next is to go through your under busts the next is to get your bust point rather the next is to get your bust point you know you'll be cutting out your bust point you'll be cutting out your under bust part and then you'll be cutting out your up busts A clearer detailed video is up on my channel for emphasis and you can do well to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that please follow through I'm almost at the point where we need I'm just gonna go ahead to um, I'm just gonna go ahead to cut it out once I'm done so for the neckline depends on how deep the client wants it to be this client she doesn't want too much of a cleavage to show so I'll be descending by 6.5 and then I'll be covering it so it's a very small and um, sweetheart neckline I'll be doing because she doesn't want her neckline to show so one each difference is okay 6.5 for the deep depth of that sweetheart and then 5.5 for the highness how it's going to be then you curve it take notes if you clients want it deeper you go deeper however your clients wants it you go but at this point the main interest is how to get the um the queen and neckline and this is how you have to follow the pattern take note of that so let me just go ahead to draft my back briefly this is not going to take much of your time i'm just trying to get the dart line which i'll be marking as four and I've given my sweet and uh, my zipper allowance, which you can see. So I'm just going to mark the data. So we'll take one inch difference from the left hand side, and then I'll be taking another inch difference for the right hand side, which I just did now. The next is to get the the, the yoke because the back too is going to have a yoke it also depends on the style you could decide to not make the back have a yoke and you can decide to make your back yoke but for this style i'll prefer the back having a yoke we do not know how the back look like looks like though but i'll be giving it a yoke then my neck you can play around it mostly if the client doesn't mind any kind of back that she wants or that you want to give her so you can play around it so i'm still going to use three inches by one for my back then for the front, I said it initially in the beginning of the video, three by three, which I have gotten here. 
though you might not necessarily need that three by three your main aim is the three inches for the width in which you still connect down that is your main aim but it's also nice to get all these things down so i'll be cutting my pattern first before giving the queen the sweetheart neckline so remember part of this princess that is not going to go through the um the yoke and then after cutting this it's always nice to blend can you see what I did? I decided to fold first so as to know how I'm going to blend. Because if I don't do it, I realize that my the sides and the joining will end up being higher than the center front. So this way, I've already carved it the way I want it. This way, you see the difference. I believe you can see the difference. It would make it to end up being equal after shaping. So this is what came out of it. It's almost about half an inch. So this is what came out of it. Now I'll be cutting the other part of the pattern. I'll be cutting the other part of the pattern off. So I want us to go ahead, I want to show us this part now. Here's what I'm going to do. The main three by three, the width, which is three, is what you'll be connecting to your chest line. So you'll be connecting to your chest line depends on the difference that you want. For me, I'll be giving two and a half inches for the difference, which is like, which I marked. You can go for two, it all depends on you, but I'll be giving two and a half inches inches difference and so i'm just going to connect my three inches width from my shoulder to my down to the uh, bust point sorry to the chest line which i just did and that's just it then i forgot to slant i'm just going to go ahead to do the slant now and that is all so this is it with my this is it sorry i i i married as well so this is it. Can you see? So this is the shape of the sweetheart neckline. So that's all about it. So I'm just going to play around with my back pattern too. You can take note on how I did my back pattern as well. I just connected from the width down. That's all I did. That's for the yoke part. So thank you very much for watching. Do well to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to like as well. I love you all. Thank you. And to the outcome on the mannequin. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.